Well, hello there. You're hello. the one that saved my life. Barb Calberlow is thankful for her physicians and for these high-tech pictures that found her cancer when it was smaller than a pencil eraser. It was ductal carcinoma in situ. Breathe. Hold your breath. The pictures came from this new mammogram machine at Capital Region Medical Center. This tube head will rotate side to side. And as it does that, it actually takes different slices of the breast tissue and then it reconstructs it um, to make one three-dimensional image. She says it's like taking a flat, square image and making it into a three-dimensional cube. Women probably won't see much of a difference between this new 3D mammogram machine and the previous one, although it is larger, takes a few seconds longer, and you'll be asked to hold your breath twice while each picture is taken. But the real difference is in the results. Interpreting the new images takes much longer for radiologist Dennis Lutgemeyer. In the past, a typical mammographic set of films has been four films, and now essentially each one of those has become 40 to 60 images. So our amount of work has gone up dramatically, but uh, I think that uh, the payoff is certainly worth it. The payoff is finding cancers in their early stages, like the one he found in Barb's left breast, a spot never seen before. Lutkemeyer says the pictures are especially helpful in diagnosing early cancers in young women with dense breasts. I know with, with absolute certainty that we're finding cancers that we otherwise would not have. Barb's thankful she had a 3D mammogram. And thank God I did because it caught a very early stage and, you know, I'm a survivor. I mean, it's, I'm so delighted. I just can't tell you how, I'm so thankful. She had surgery, but the cancer had not spread and Barb will not have to face chemotherapy or radiation.